So here we have uh, on YouTube, Voyager just sent this terrifying new message back to Earth. Now, you probably, I was thinking, well, crockies. Uh, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, maybe they know something that's about to happen. So, you know, being a, a real twit, I tuned into this thinking there was something in it. But all, it's, it's just a load of crap. It's one of those, uh, on YouTube, they have a lot of subtitles to suck you in, to think it's something that it's not. Voyager just sent this terrifying new message back to Earth. It doesn't cover that at all. There's, not, there's no new message. I'll just play a bit. Five years, it's still travelling through never-before-seen parts of the universe. But now, this legendary spacecraft is starting to send some strange data back to NASA, and it has left many of the space wow. agency's top scientists puzzled. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the strange data being... Now, once I got through this, I got up to about here, halfway, and the reason we're getting strange data is to think the signal's getting weaker because the spacecraft is getting weaker itself. You know, it's little meteorites hitting it, um, its antenna's getting a bit bent. It's nothing to do with, you know, strange signals uh, being interrupted by aliens or, or any weird crap like that. And they go on about this disc. Uh, where is it? Now they've got a disc on it, made of gold or something, and it's got everything about Earth. Now my question is, if you're a space alien, you know, which recorder do you use to play it? Do you use a tape recorder? Do you use a, a CD player? I mean, as if they got all this stuff in their spaceship to play, play this gold disc. Um, and of course, obviously, they, if they're really, really advanced, you know, they can just think about it and it'll go straight into their database. But it's just totally crazy. Here's the disc coming up. It's got all about us. Here we go. Carry special audio and video messages in the off chance that it ever comes in contact with an extraterrestrial being. Oh, yeah. Some of the contents on the disc include over 35 sounds that are unique to the Earth. Images of daily life on our planet, yes. over an hour of Western pop need, music, and greeting tape messages recorder. from numerous former US presidents that have been translated player. into 55 different languages, so that the oh, aliens have a higher need, chance uh, of deciphering some of the content. However, as of 2022, NASA scientists have dismissed theories that the spacecraft may be under the control of aliens. Voyager oh, 1 has numerous you. safety so protocol features news? that will be activated in case the spacecraft is ever in it's danger, but none of those protocols have ever been activated. And they to add, add on according to NASA's there. project manager for the Voyager mission, this will be impossible. It's just on top of that, two-way communication gobbly, is now crap. much slower than it once was. Messages, on average, take around two days to go from NASA's communication station to the spacecraft. This means that the risk of collisions and accidents has been drastically enhanced, and NASA's team may not be able to properly communicate in terms of emergencies. Whoopie doo. So that's it. And it comes to the end, and then he says this. Where is it? Hang on. Able to communicate with us back on Earth, and with each passing day, the chances of an accident progressing through the mission to an end are greater. Terrifying so far, message. it has managed to outlive the circumstances surrounding it. That's a wrap for this video. How long do you think Voyager 1 will continue? See, nothing about the terrifying message. There was no terrifying message in the whole video, right? Nothing. It was just a load of crap. That's my summary of this YouTube. Okay. Don't bother. Really, don't bother.